Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Floor RC. I'm Kobe, and today we are going to learn the rolling corkscrew and the weeble wobble. Okay, so we got two videos packed into one. Um, they're kind of similar, kind of different, so I'm going to um, go over all that stuff. But before we get into that, um, I need to say that um, we are going down to two videos, two two videos a week so I'm gonna post every Tuesday and Thursday but don't forget that I stream at uh, 8 30 p.m. at 11 p.m. Eastern on a Facebook live every single night so uh, be sure to tune into that uh, just friend me on Facebook at Kobe Canton and then uh, you should be able to uh, come out and uh, hang out so without much more um, uh, jibber jabbish whatever you want to talk whatever you want to call it, um, let's go straight into this, okay, so, um, the rolling corkscrew, okay, so traditionally it is done like this, it is done on a down line like this, okay, so as you can see, the airplane is basically rolling around the center axis of, of that, of that down line, right, so, uh, the down line is just the, um, it's just the position that you're, you're going in, so, uh, if you think about your airplane just going straight straight down, um, it's going to look like this. So basically what the rolling corkscrew is, is you're going to be wanting to roll around the center axis of, of that line or that down line, okay? And it goes for the same on a 45 or even a uh, level or horizontal uh, line, right? So you the rolling corkscrew is kind of the name it entails. It's um, just rolling around itself, okay? So, um, what is, what, how do, how do we do this? Like, this is so complicated, okay? It's not too complicated. I'm going to slow it down, okay? So, we're going to start with the down pull, okay? We're going to just keep on rolling around the axis, okay? You're going to start to get into the groove of it once you, once you uh, learn learn kind of what it feels like okay so I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit so it's gonna look like this okay so we're gonna want to hold the down and up elevator a little longer than usual okay we're even gonna hold the rudder a little more than we thought okay so you basically just want to be patient until the airplane keeps um, unloading its energy into the next roll so what do I mean um, so if I'm coming really really fast like this and like this okay so it's just unloading its its energy right so we want to be patient okay we want to wait for for all that stuff to um, kind of seduce into um, mm, I don't know how to how to really say it but here's for all the left people so it goes like this okay so you see how how sort of the the rudder and the elevator are kind of doing this dance so once I let go of the elevator then I get straight into the rudder I wait on the rudder a little bit once I'm done with the rudder I get back into the elevator um, it's sort of like this little dance that you have to do and you have to kind of learn uh, what you know how to dance you have to learn how to dance right so I'm gonna put this into slow motion so you guys can see it a little better uh, I'm gonna do it pretty slow here okay so it's gonna take some time okay um, I'm gonna do it just on the 45 down because it's the same thing, but it, it's a little easier to look at <coughs> so We're gonna want to go into this with uh, medium energy. We're gonna go all the way around push right rudder pull left rudder and then just keep on going around into the ground Don't do that <laughs> Okay, so um, now that you guys kind of saw it in in uh, in slow motion this is what it's kind of gonna look like okay so it's gonna look like this all right so that's what it's gonna look like it's gonna it's it's the stick movements don't really correlate to the airplane because the airplane is moving so fast and it's so it's such a aggressive maneuver when you have a lot of power in it but your sticks are relatively um, uh, nice and choreographed and they're not going all over the place. They're kind of just You know uh, slow nice and up right and left. It's 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 kind of weird. Honestly, it's one of the only maneuvers that you can really um, kind of 
not tell what the sticks are doing because um, it's so it's so different of what the airplane's doing. So uh, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go straight into the weevil wobble. So the weevil wobble is almost the same thing, sort of, but um, it's different. So there's many variations of the weevil wobble. Okay, there are many different variations. So I'm gonna go nice and high so I can show you all that. So if we have the slow the slow one this is called a falling leaf it kind of looks like a falling leaf a little bit right and then we can put in a little more power make it a little tighter like this and then put in full power and then make it really nice and uh, tight okay so and here we come for the tumble and we failed perfect great Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's what it should look like. So basically, it really depends on your power. Okay. So unlike unlike the rolling corkscrew, we're gonna be really going back and forth on the sticks. Okay. We're really gonna be kind of hammering those sticks back and forth. Okay. So, but if we were patient with the sticks, then it would turn into a rolling corkscrew because it would unload that energy all into the uh, whichever way you're rolling, uh, left or right, whichever way uh, you guys decide. So I've been doing it to the right. Let's do it to the left, okay? So, okay, 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 let's not, okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that's what it should look like to the left. It's a, it's, it's, you have to be less, less patient with the, um, with, the weevil wobble instead of the cor instead of the uh, rolling corkscrew, um, but the way to really figure out these uh, maneuvers is really just to like go for it. Okay, you're not gonna learn by um, just watching me talk and then you're gonna say, "Oh, I can do it," and then try it 20 feet off the ground, and the rest is history. And you tie the record for the lowest flight. Um, so. You really have to just kind of go for it. Um, it's really a feel maneuver, so you kind of have to feel what your airplane does. And uh, a little, a little quick tips uh, with the weevil wobble. So your power is really going to tell how what variation of the weevil wobble you're gonna do. The more power you have in it, the faster it's gonna go down. The faster the roll is, um, and then the less power you have, it's gonna be more uh, floaty, sort of like um, an elevator. If you guys know what that is. So, uh, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that real flight tutorial. Um, this is a really cool maneuver. I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys learn it and, uh, put it to good use because it's a super cool maneuver. It looks awesome. Uh, real showstopper. So, uh, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and pound that subscribe button. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> Stay tuned for the next video on Thursday. Thank you guys.